Hello, my name is Perry Ardito and I'm the General Manager for the Young Heinrich Warehouse Products Group. I'd like to introduce you to Young Heinrich's newest technology for both turret trucks and order pickers, warehouse navigation. As you can see, I'm standing at our booth at the ProMat Show in Chicago, the largest material handling show in North America, and we've arrived early on a very cold Chicago morning to film our warehouse navigation demonstration. And unlike the activity levels here over the first two days in our booth, we're taking advantage of this quiet time. Warehouse navigation is exclusive to Young Heinrich and it is best described as a semi-automated navigation system, meaning that unlike a fully automated system, ours still includes an operator. However, the gains are quite impressive with improvements in productivity of a very narrow aisle or VNA system by upwards of 25%. So let's begin the demonstration. First, to use wireless navigation, the turret truck and or order picker must be guided in the aisle by wire or rail. The truck we see here at the show is guided by wire on the floor. In addition, transponders are inserted into the floor which transmit instructions to the truck through RFID readers that are mounted underneath the truck. Now we are able to track the exact location of each truck outfitted with this technology. The transponder technology is unique to Young Heinrich and it's very easy to install into a warehouse floor. For this demonstration, Michael is driving the truck for us and he is waiting there for his next pick or put away. The warehouse management system or WMS communicates orders to the RF terminal on the lift truck and tells it where the next pallet or case is to be picked or put away. The locations are then communicated from the RF terminal to the truck's controller. Using the transponders and sensors on the truck, the forklift identifies where it is in the aisle and where it has to go to make that pick. All the operator has to do is turn the throttle in the direction the truck has to travel, which is shown on the truck display. The truck will then drive forward or backwards and will automatically lift to the right height and stop at the correct pallet location. The forks reach out and pick the correct pallet. Once the pallet has been picked, the truck sends a confirmation back to the WMS and waits for the next order. At this point, there is no need to scan either the location or the pallet since both are already known by the system, thereby saving many seconds and reducing cycle time. This means increased productivity. One of the fundamentals of a turret truck is that the higher the truck is, the slower the drive speed. So for example, at 60 inches or less, maximum travel speed is considerably more than at a high lift height when the travel speed is vastly reduced. In order to improve productivity and number of picks per hour, the operator is looking to get to the location in the most efficient way possible. Here in the graph, you see three possible travel paths for a truck picking from the floor up to a high pick location. The first red line assumes the operator travels at full speed along the floor and then spends time lifting at the end. The total travel time is 36 seconds. The second red line assumes the operator lifts and drives at the same time, which is a more efficient way of traveling. However, the operator still takes 36 seconds to get to the destination. The green line shows the optimum time to get to the location, 28 seconds with warehouse navigation. Remember, using warehouse navigation means that all the operator has to do is move the throttle and the truck decides when to lift depending on the height of the pick and uses the most efficient route to the designated pick location. Another good example of how warehouse navigation takes the guesswork out of productivity is the bathtub curve. This operator has just picked his order at the top rack location and the next location is also at the top of the rack. When he moves the throttle, the truck decides to drive and lower since it can move faster at a lower lift height. As it gets closer to the pick location, the truck lifts to its reach destination. As you can see, the warehouse navigation takes the guesswork out of trying to pick as quickly and efficiently as possible. Extremely important for the operator, who may be paid per pick, but also for the warehouse manager to maximize their productivity. And for those applications that may have seasonal or temporary lift truck operators, there is no need to worry about loss of productivity when a new operator starts in the warehouse. Warehouse navigation will ensure that they operate the trucks as productively as an experienced operator. So let's recap how warehouse navigation can help a customer meet the productivity goals in their warehouse. First, increase productivity gains of up to 25%. Remember, this is regardless of who's operating the truck, 
So you still see these gains when you have new staff, seasonal employees, or night shift operators. Second, since the controller stops the truck at exactly the correct position, product does not get damaged with incorrect positioning or inexperienced operators. Third, because this is controlled through the Young Heinrich transponders, changing the layout of a wireless does not mean relaying of the transponders, they simply need reprogramming. Lastly, the goal always with warehouse navigation is to increase efficiencies and productivity within the warehouse. Therefore, the customer can move more product in less time and ideally reduce their fleet size and number of operators, both adding up to significant cost savings. I hope our short demo has given you an insight into the significant benefits warehouse navigation brings to warehouses and customer productivity. If you would like further information, my name is Perry Ardito and here are my contact details. For more in-depth product information, please contact me or product line manager Michael Wiesenegg.